Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am here to check in for the fourth week of January. I am not quite ready to close out my January budget so today we're just going to check in, see where we're at for the last like six days or so of January. We do still have to like go grocery shopping, we still have a weekend of potentially eating out. So I just wanted to kind of check in, see where we're at, see what we're working with, and that way we can go in to these last six days with the best possible information that we have available to make the best decisions financially. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. <clears throat> My internet is right now off. I don't know what is happening. This morning I woke up to check the um, temperature in the office because it's like it feels like negative 18 today and of course my internet was messed up and I restarted the modem twice now and for some reason it's still not working so I'm really hoping that after getting this video filmed it's magically working again because my goodness it's always something so we're gonna start with groceries and we're going to have I know we're going to be over budget I know it when I went into this month, I had best intentions, but I swear January just is one of those months. I don't know what it is, but something happens and it just, I don't know. It always seems to go downhill in January. So it looks like the last time that we checked in was right around the 19th, so I'm gonna go forward. So we went to Costco, we picked up, um, I believe we just picked up like bananas and then I must have done something else in addition to bananas. Water. We picked up water bottles and bananas, so that was $7.51. At Target, we spent $3.15. This was just for some like ice cream and things like that um, for around the house, so that was $3.15. And then Jason actually went to Jewel and Aldi and got our normal grocery haul for the week, so $32.90 at Jewel and $107.95 at Aldi. Now, last time we checked in, we definitely did not have enough to be spending as much as we did. We left off with $82.61 for the remaining two weeks, and we ended up spending $151.51. And again, last time remaining, we had $165.22, which means that we currently only have $13.71 remaining. So that is not enough for an entire week's worth of groceries. So we're definitely gonna be over budget when it comes to groceries. Next week is gonna be kind of an odd week because we do have, um, we do have a like dinner that we're gonna be going to which will eliminate one of the meals that we have to purchase. But yeah, we're still like, I mean, we still have to buy lunches and breakfasts and just, you know, lunch or dinner for a few nights at least. So $13 is not gonna cut it. Of course, I'm gonna speak to Jason when, you know, we're starting to get through like meal planning and stuff for the week and I'm just gonna, you know, say, okay, we're going in with $13. So if we could try and shop our pantry, shop our freezer as much as possible. Um, and again, just kind of go into it knowing that we barely have anything remaining. So anyway, that is groceries. Next is gonna be eating out, and eating out, it kind of stinks. I haven't mentioned this so far, but Jason and I went on a date night. You guys will see that when we look at our transactions, and the next day, our credit card um, wasn't stolen, but we had all of these fraud charges on our credit card, and this has happened before. In the past, when I went to go visit my sister once in Florida, I paid for lunch or dinner um, for all of us, and I swear the next day, my card had all of these random charges. It kind of stinks that when you go out to, you know, to these places that something happens while your card is, you know, with them, and somehow it ends up, you know, getting the information stolen. Again, I don't know for sure that that happened while we were at dinner. There's no way to really prove that, but it just, it's weird how it's happened twice in a row. And the only time it's ever happened was when we actually gave our card to someone to charge it. So kind of a bummer there, but um, the whole reason why I brought that up was because our charges have been coming in super weird. Like, we went to Starbucks after we went sledding with the girls because they wanted hot chocolate, so we got hot chocolate, and I actually didn't have a coffee that day, so I picked up a mocha from Starbucks, and that just showed up yesterday, even though, like, you know, it's been a few days. Same thing with Panera. We actually went to Panera. Was that on, was that on Sunday? 
actually, you know what? I think we went to Starbucks on, on Sunday. Anyway, regardless, we went to Panera on Saturday and that charge still has not shown up. It's so weird. I don't know why like charges are coming in here or there. Like I have to change all of my credit card information, which is such a pain because it's linked to so many things. So it's just a pain in the butt having to do that. So I'm just going to record what I have as of right now. But of course I put in a little reminder because that charge should show up at some point. So like I said, Starbucks of 1016 here. And then we actually grabbed dinner that was $23.41 over here. So that brings us to a total of $33.57. $33.57. Last time we checked in, we only had $24.47, which means that we are $9.10 over. We went into, you know, getting, um, going out to eat knowing that we had very little left. We were okay with it. Um, we have a little bit of wiggle room in our budget, so we were okay with it. And again, I kind of go into January with the best intentions, like, oh, we're going to stick to our budget as much as possible, but it's January. I swear it's just a cursed month for us. We seem to always have trouble, like, with spending for some reason in January. Like, it seems like our groceries are always a lot higher. Our eating out's always a lot higher. I don't know if it's from like going from spending so much time with other people to not spending time with people or if it's just freezing cold. So like we tend to go out or order in more. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. But anyway, we have negative $9.10 remaining. So anything that we do going forward, I guess that doesn't even include like the $15 or something from Panera. I don't remember the exact amount. But anything going forward we will be over budget so that's just something to keep in mind when we are deciding to eat out i'm guessing that we will eat out again um and that's okay because it's our budget our money we get to choose that um and you get to choose that for your budget as well but i just figured i kind of mentioned that um next is going to be household so we did pick up some things from um costco so we spent 64 60 um at costco we picked up we picked up like toilet paper and um, laundry pods. We picked up two of those. So we should be stocked on laundry pods for a while. Amazon, we picked up a new, we have like a Nutribullet, I think it's called, like a blender. And it's an old one. Someone passed it down to us a long time ago. But the like bottom pieces of it that like help it spin have gotten worn down. So Jason needed... Um, a new one of those because he uses those for smoothies every single day and then I actually needed some shampoo so I picked that up from Amazon 2403 was the total and then Jason actually picked up I think like toothpaste from Aldi that was 697 so that brings us to a total of 9560 9560 and we only had 6590 remaining as of last week so we are $29 and 70 cents over budget and that's just a timing issue like if we there was a really good deal on the laundry pods so we decided to pick up two instead of one if we would have picked up one we would have been perfect we would have had no issues with being over budget but sometimes it's just easier to grab the stuff that you need when you are there or like stock up on stuff rather than wait so you know instead of having to buy that again in like February or March, we're stocked up. So anyway, again, over budget there. And then gas for our cars, we did fill up both cars. Mine was fifteen sixty four, and Jason's was thirty seven. Oops, thirty seven sixty. So that's a total of fifty three twenty four. Last time we checked in, we had one twenty four thirteen remaining. So that brings us to a total remaining of 70.89. I may need to pick up, I may need to fill up gas for my car. When Jason went, something was going on with the pump, so he wasn't able to fill it up all the way, which is why it's lower. Um, it, it normally costs like, you know, at least $20 to fill up my car. So anyway, we have plenty left there and that may help offset some of the overages that we're going to have. And then for unbudgeted, we have nothing new. 
I'm just trying to make sure that I didn't miss anything. I know that I don't have that Panera and there may even be like a car wash or something that we need to put in. But I, again, I don't have record of it because my card is being weird. They may be updating it right now because I couldn't get into my app. So, so yeah, the only thing that we had unbudgeted for the entire month was my, um, transformation challenge that I have with Orange Theory. We're going to be starting that very soon. Um, and then for sinking funds, we did pick up diapers. We picked up diapers at Costco and then we picked up diapers um, again at Target because we are starting to need nighttime diapers for Mila. She's been leaking through every single night. Mila sleeps like a champ. Um, I would say like for most nights, she probably sleeps over 12 hours. The girl loves to sleep. Um, so anyway, um, Jason's been picking up stuff for our door to fix it. I think he's gotten started on the project, but it's still not complete. I picked up Macy some clothes. Um, I got her a shirt that matches a shirt that I have, which she loves doing that. And then a father-daughter dance dress. It was really cute. That was $44. Diapers, like I said, $26.99. Those were the nighttime diapers. Me and Jason went out to dinner, like I said, probably the night that our credit card information got stolen. That was $52.69. That came out of entertainment. Our entertainment and vacation funds are now combined, so it gives us a little bit more flexibility to do things like, like date nights without, you know, being completely over when it comes to entertainment. Diapers at Costco were $42.99. Our Costco membership recently was due, so that was $60. Um, and then Jason did have some medical bills come in, $138.80 and then $94.10. One thing that I like to do is I like to put the dates that the um, medical like transactions happened. So I know that the first one was probably for his echo. And then the second one that we got in was actually for labs, like blood work that he got done. So, and the other thing is this one was from January. So this will be for this year's deductible, whereas the first one was for last year's. Um, I do think there's gonna be at least one more bill that's coming through for like his follow-up doctor's appointment, but we haven't received that just yet. So anyway, that is pretty much it for this weekly check-in. Again, we're not doing too bad. We definitely do have some overages and we are definitely very close to a lot of um, our budget amounts, but I feel like as long as we go into the week knowing, like this final week, knowing that we have very little to work with and just making the decision, okay, do we want to, you know, try and cut back, um, not really do much, or do we want to just accept the fact that we are going to be a little bit over and make sure that we have the wiggle room in terms of income to do so. So we'll see. I'm guarantee you what we'll probably do is just kind of suck it up and be like, well, we're going to be a little bit over budget and um, that's okay. You get to choose that when it's your budget. So anyway, that is it for this weekly check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to hear a little bit about our week financially and let me know how you guys are doing down below. Hopefully you guys have a little bit less drama than we do over here. I swear with the credit card issue, now my internet being goofy, like I just cannot catch a break today. So anyway, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.